What's good, guys? We are here with Lysergic versus Nintendi. Oris OU SPL a week of four. I um, recognize Lysergic's uh, team. Pretty sure this is his team he used to ladder for OT, like. Um, For the OT cycle three, if I'm not mistaken, OT two, not the OT last year, the the OT the year before. I'm just gonna save this real quick so I can close my Photoshop and we can concentrate on the battle. And it's not that laggy. Nintendo bringing um interesting bulky offense team. So if I recall correctly, Mob Bali is Specs Magnazone, but he might he might also be solved with I don't remember. And I think his Azuma was Belly Drum. His Jirachi I think his Jirachi was uh, Was it Scarf or Rock's Jirachi? I don't remember. He's probably just gonna go for protect with Dianti here and then Tenny goes hard among us. Not risking a potential ASPI on the ice on Dianti if he's a slower lander, if he's not Scarf lander. I mean, Nintendo just goes for double spore. Don't think he would have lost much from. Yeah, don't think. Like even if the Yancy stayed in, I don't think Nintendo would have lost much. Um, I think this had Dragon of Specs, but I really don't remember. As Lysergic went into Jirachi, scouting for what? Predicted him to go her Dragon, maybe. Ah, uh, Yancy predicted him to go her As it's not Scarf Rachi, it's Rock Rachi, okay. So then it's. Is it Scarf Lando? This feels really bad that I don't remember the sets because I have played this team on the ladder. That team the mob is using. Like, I guess he might have changed the sets up a bit. So Nintendo is a rock slam loser, which is pretty interesting since that means he's not a rocks on trend. Uh, I'm thinking if he's like magma, he might be magma storm taunt trend in case mob try to bring some stall. That, that like that's decent with a stall. It's not the best stall breaker, but it can do some work. Have you said in the chat why mob exclus exclusively use his ladder teams? <laughs> okay, I'm pretty sure that's oh, it's life orb. I thought it was specs because it did so much. Okay, I forgot rocks. I thought this thing just took 99, but it was after rocks. So AV torn barely lives that. I assume it's AV from that damage. And he's probably Helmet Landris. And he tries to kill him with the helmet. Ooh, what? He's not Helmet. That would have been too, too, too juicy if he was Helmet. But now he's, he's Scarf Landris. What am I saying? Because he's uh, Rocks Jirachi. He's Life of a Dragon. And the Landris has to be Scarf then. Because Magnuson is not a good Scarf. Or Magnus is way too slow. Even though Aorus is not that fast of a metagame. Not that fast as uh, Sun and Moon. As my dude Padlop said in the chat, that those bows don't have hazard removal. Um, I guess the hazard removal is the Yancy. He went for Wallowers there. Like, Mob is like a really aggressive player. Um, I don't know if I would have gone for Wallowers there because Mob likes to go into the Yancy sometimes on Wallowers. Like, I don't know if Mob makes that play, but I know some people. Play the Dianzi like that, and since Mob is an aggressive player, I figured he might do that. So 
So the Hydrogen is probably not spit dev, so Nintendo doesn't have a good switch into this if it's Flash Cannon Hydreigon. Because Diancy gets blown away. I guess it's kind of a 50-50 if he... Like if Lysergy goes for Flash Cannon and he stays in. He makes the mid-ground play in going... In going uh, Heatran. As he drops a Draco. Interesting. I thought he really, I thought he would just go for Dark Pulse when that at least hits the Dayanti for some damage. Goes hard Magna Zone scouting. I guess it's Scarf Trend then. <laughs> Blunder who, who flash cans there, now you're trapped. <clears throat> I mean, yeah, this was a pretty decent play by Mob. It worked out. I cannot hate on him. The thing is, it's doing 15, and if the Magnezone doesn't wake up... So that's not AV zone if it's doing 15, it's probably specs. That Magnezone doesn't wake up. Yeah, that's what they're saying in the chat, he can win with long sleep turns and speed death drops. Ooh, what? Oh, he said free... Ooh! Free wish pass. Is it wish? I don't think it's. Is it wish Jirachi? Stealth Rock U turn? Maybe Iron Head and Healing Wish? I don't know. I don't think it's wish. But we will find out. Lol, Blunder said these teams are just bad versions of Kelio Medicham. Why is Hydreigon broken? I mean, Hydreigon is pretty good versus Nintendo's team if you predict correctly, but I wouldn't say Hydreigon is broken. Okay, it is Wish. I don't remember that that the Jirachi had a Wish on that team. Why are they saying the surgic changed Kelly or Medi Latios? Nah, I guess that's a joke. The surgic made this team like way before the made this management team. But yeah, that's just a joke by Elf League in the chat. So what's he passing this wish to? Hydreigon, I guess? Yeah, Hydreigon coming back in. The threat is in. And since it's uh, slow landers, he can like. He can dank pulse here, yeah, dark pulse. I don't really see, but yeah, okay, Nintendo can just suck each one. So now he can, yeah, exactly, bring out his Diancy. And. He probably still goes for protect because. Oh, did the High Dragon reveal everything? Yeah, he has to go for protect because I don't think the High Dragon revealed the last move. I think we saw Draco. Do we see anything besides Draco? But we don't know yet if it has Flash Can, I think. So that's a smart play going for protect with the Yancy. It's way too risky to not go for protect because this is not a Gen 7. Ooh, the plays. Going for wish on the U turn. Predicting Nintendo to predict the Landris in the back, I assume. Or the Hydreigon. Hearts, Diane. I just finished rendering another video in the back, and it popped up. He just Diamond Storms here, right? Yeah, exactly. But that does nothing. Um, so that's either like really fist death among us or just the Yancy doesn't have that much. I don't know. Probably that. Probably more special attack invested the Yancy. Ooh, hard Magna Zone. On the Giga Drain. Um, there's some Gen 5 game going on in the back. 
The Mongoose eat that up pretty well, but I'm only gonna record this game. Um, later I probably will have to record multiple battles in one video because there's like a lot of uh, interesting matches coming up and since the deadline is in like... When is the deadline? I think in 11 hours and a lot of games aren't played yet. So it's like eventually people will play at the same time which is annoying but we have to deal with it and I, I want to record most games for you guys as the Hydreigon has flash cannon. Just didn't reveal it until this point and then Tenny scouts for it by going Rotom, which is a nice play. So now we know the entire moves that the last move is uh, probably Dark Pulse. And I really don't get it why people don't build an Auras anymore. Like They're just bringing old teams. I don't I don't know if I have seen Nintendo's team before, but I've seen Mob's team like so often. <laughs> I still don't know the set, which is funny. <laughs> I mean... I don't know if I would have met that flash cam play if I was Lysergic. I think Dark Pulsing was a fine play there. And he's just gonna sack off his Jirachi then bring back in the uh, Scarf Landris probably or the Azumarill. The thing is if he goes for Landris this is uh, kind of bad because this Ayanti has Protect. So he cannot even double switch here because if the Ayanti goes for Protect he just takes two rocks for no reason. And he's still in a bad position. He's probably going for Earthquake here, yeah. And now if you mob... Now this is a 50-50. Um, like, if this was ladder, I would double into... Um, High Dragon or Azu here. Like, if Azumaru gets a Belly Drum up, I think it just wins. So yeah, if, if Lysergic doubles into Azumaru here on the... On the defense of Landris, I think he just wins the game. That's why Nintendo might stay in. Oh, he, he goes to Rotom. Um, Rotom is a nice mid-ground play by Nintendo. It would have been immune to Earthquake, and if he doubled into Azu, that would have avoided the Azu um, belly drumming for free. Would have prevented the Azu from belly drumming for free, is what I meant to say. I really haven't gotten much sleep. Um, yeah, this hasn't this hasn't been the best narration. I'm gonna try to focus a bit more in the next recordings. Um, how healthy is the Amongus? Can it still come in? Ah, uh, Amongus is too risky to go hard into here. So he probably just sex this Rotom. Um, so he either sex the Rotom or he sex the Torn. Like I get why Nintendo is taking his time because he's probably like thinking through the end game how he can prevent that Arthur from getting a belly drum up. I would do the same. Okay, just sex his room. And uh, now he goes into Mungus and Yeah, okay, he couldn't have switched in. I thought he would have been at a way healthier amount. Cause I clicked on the Amongus and it said 69% and I thought it didn't have a regenerator calc in on that. So I thought this would be a full basically. I mean, there's no way he spores here because uh, a dragon is burned already. I can see uh, Nintendo Giga Draining once, predicting Lysergic to maybe protect to scout for a potential double switch. And the turn after, 
I can see him doubling. Oh, that, did he hard double? Okay, he just went for Giga Turn. If he hard doubled, he would have been Jesus. I had a wondering in the chat what was Nintendo's rest, uh, wrote on Rest of Chester's Bedev question mark. He said he will tell after the battle. I mean, if this High Dragon attacks here, it dies to life or plus burn, so Lysergic has to think this play through. On the other side, if he goes for Ruth to keep this alive. And then he gets to bring uh, his Dianthi in. I mean, the hard Dianthi is really risky here on a potential flash can. But the thing is, does, does Nintendo need his Dianthi is, is the question. Let's say Nintendo sex his Dianthi and the surgery goes for flash can and it's a double down. Amoongus then uh, checks the Yancy uh, as to like Amoongus pretty much checks everything well. The Sajik would have to earthquake spam after that, which is not, which wouldn't work because uh, Nintendo still has uh, the Torn in the back. So that's pretty nice to see that Nintendo kept this Torn alive. So a uh, scarf Lando cannot spam earthquake late in game. So I think uh, Nintendo pretty much has the tools to win this. I think going hard to NC is a fine play, but there's probably like a lot of like possibilities here that I don't think I haven't thought about. Okay, uh, okay, the thing I shared, there's no way um he's risking the NC here. What is Mob thinking about? I guess that's fair, but I don't really think. Hmm. What does he? What does he need the NC for? Like, doesn't the, the combination of Torn and Among Us kind of win the game? <clears throat> Ooh, nice double into Azu on the Torn. <clears throat> I don't get why he would have sacked. Okay, never mind. Yeah. I mean, if the sack the Torn, he still had Landers as a ground immunity. I was about to say, why did he sack his uh, ground immunity? So, if he's. Max HP Azu, which he's probably not, because they run. Uh, Benadrum Azu should run speed. And then he has to hit a Hurricane and. It seems like Mob Bali is a bulky set because he said no confusion, please. So he's going for Belly Drum here. Yeah, so he gets. Ooh, there's the confusion. And he hits himself. And he loses to Hex. I think he would have just won there, like. Aqua Jet kills these three and Knockoff kills the Among Us. I don't know if. Nah, Nintendo couldn't have done anything. So, um, Lysergic knew that Nintendo wouldn't sack his Among Us. Ah, okay, I was about to say he didn't even get off the belly drum. I was like, what? Why did they do five? He hit himself, and that not only does he do damage to himself when he hits himself, yeah, he, I thought he got off the belly drum for some reason. Look at this name, well, look at this scum here, Poe, my jokey, I'm joined. Don't you dare disrespect Pokey, I'm like that. JK, JK. <laughs> but I don't, he, he doesn't like being called that, so change your name, dude, change your name, it's not nice. Like that's 
what are the odds of that happening? You like first hit a hurricane and then get a confusion, which is a thirty, I think a thirty percent chance, and then he also hits himself, which is a fifty percent chance. So that's annoying as fuck for mob. I don't see mob coming back at all now. That edge did nothing. He has to like crit the next edge or something. As he gets the crit, that's some justice. I mean, Amungus comes back in. And it's really annoying. His Hydreigon also cannot come in here because it dies to burn plus rocks. So he just clicked Giga Drain here for free. Okay, he sacks off the Hydreigon. Comes back in with Alandris. Did he predict the torn? Nice, nice play. So Mob is like doing all he can late game to potentially come back. <clears throat> Landris might be able to live another Giga Ran from Among Us after Rocks. Maybe Mob needs like a crit on the Among Us to win this. Like if he switches out into the Dianz, he comes back in with the Landris. Yeah, Mob can win with a crit. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. But yeah, I had a paddle up and call a few minutes before the game and his microphone... Uh, I couldn't hear him, his microphone was playing weird, acting weird. Gonna try to get people on call for the next game. Like, I think he has to sack his Dayancy. I don't know, I don't think that was the play. I mean, he gets crit anyway, but... Now, I guess if he, he had to like, crit the Stone Edge on the Among Us and then bring this in range for the Yancy to die... And then that maybe one of speed I was supporting the Yancy, but not sure. Um, that was a bad end game. Like, I hated it. It was a decent game, but... Confusion on the Among was really annoying. I thank you guys for watching. Um, I, I lack a bit of motivation today, you probably noticed. Um, didn't sleep properly. I will, um, hopefully that will change when I get people on call and I will be more motivated. Good god, this video will get all the dislikes. But I deserve it. Um, stay tuned for more SPL, I think. There is Steve Angelo playing later on. There is... Uh, PDC playing with Nador or Nidor. So stay tuned for that. I'm Doc signing out. I hope you guys still enjoyed. I'm not feeling too well. I just was sick, but I don't know if I'm getting sick again. Peace out, friends. Have have a nice day.